Hello and thank you for joining me today. We are going to be reviewing the 320 watt portable power station by Flashfish. It has a capacity of 292 watt hours. It's got two AC outlets on the side, a DC port that goes in. It's got wireless 10 watt charging on the top, a nice handle to carry it around with. It's got a beam forming flashlight on the rear there and if you press and hold you can actually get it to put out a floodlight up to three different brightnesses and a flash on the side it's got one side ventilation and it's got a nice display on the front with strong rubber grips on the bottom it comes with an 80 watt ac charging adapter it also includes the dc output plug a dc input plug for charging and it comes with a type c to type c cable and that is useful for 100 watt pd charging so i pulled out my AccuBattery app and tried charging up my phone and i found that each of the ports put out about the same amount of power to my phone it depends on what cable you use and the type of your phone but i recommend the center port for faster charging or type c now, as you'll see on the bull bat, I go ahead and I plug it in because I want to check out that AC adapter to see what kind of juice it's actually putting out and taking in. So it looks like it's drawing around 70 watts, which is actually what it's rated for. So that is pretty cool, but like I said, you can charge it even faster by plugging in an extra port to the Type C. On the left, we got the Jackery 160, the Bullbat 250 in the middle, and the Flashfish 320 on the right. Now, I went ahead and tested out the AC charging adapter again on the Jackery, where it was getting around that 70 watt mark, so we are looking pretty solid on that connection there for charging. I also tried out the DC charging output from the Jackery. It was getting about a 50 watt charge going out, so that works as well if you're trying to do DC charging. And they are pretty rugged units, but the Flashfish and the Jackery are pretty tough in comparison to the Bullbat 250. One of the things I like about the Jackery is that it has all of these nice charging accessories you can put in the bag, which you don't get on either of the other units. Now let's check out that AC output. Now on the bull bat, I'm getting about a 275 watt draw for my 300 watt infrared heating lamp. And I also tried plugging in these lights, which ended up drawing around 33 watts. Now it's time to put that 275 watt load to the test on the flash fish. As you can hear, the fan is pretty quiet, not as quiet as the Jackery, but pretty good. And I decided to plug in the lights and that also held pretty well but you'll see that it turns on and off a couple times which i thought was kind of funny but after that it stayed on so it did handle the load i wanted to try overloading the unit with a 475 watt load 200 on the mini heater 275 on the other lamp it did turn on for a few seconds actually and then it shut off tried again same thing but Pretty impressive that it could handle it for a few seconds. Time for a drain test. I plugged in the lamp and the lights and my phone, which is going to be just a little over 320 watts of draw. And as you can see, that battery indicator for it's the display was draining nice. quick. Then I went ahead and tested out this drill and uh, it was a bit too much because it can draw over 600 watts. It did pull for a little bit though. Okay, back to the drain test. Got the lamp plugged in and as you can see it's at 0%. It does look like it has some reserve capacity because it ran for several minutes past that 0% mark. Now I went ahead and went inside to charge it up. It took about 22 minutes to get to 7%. Then at 2 hours it was at 39. At 4 hours it was at 76. And about 5 hours and 45 minutes, I was at 100. I did notice when it got around 92%, it jumped straight to 100. So it was around that 5 hour and 40 mark for 100% on the AC adapter only. Now how about DC output for charging batteries? I purchased this adapter on Amazon for about 8 bucks to see if it would be able to charge a dead battery in the vehicle. Unfortunately, it didn't do anything. Jackery, on the other hand, is able to charge a dead battery. One time it saved me when my car battery died. 
Now I tested out the DC plug on other items such as this vacuum which worked fantastic. It fully powered it up with no problem. However, I found it kind of strange that I didn't have to turn on the light. I did try out this air pump which also worked very well, which is a pretty high draw for DC power, somewhere around 60 to 80 watts. Did a great job. And now it's time once again for the ultimate drain test from 100% to zero. Of course, it ended up doing a great job and had that nice reserve after 0% for several minutes. So I got about 45 minutes of runtime on a 309 watt draw. Last but not least, I tried out the Type-C charging with the AC adapter. It was a little bit faster, but I didn't have PD100 watt. And I also checked it out in the vehicle to try that DC adapter for my phone with the charger. Once again, didn't need to turn the unit on, which I find a bit fishy. This product was sent to me by Flashfish. I just want to give you a heads up on that, but I also wanted to do a fair review. Overall, it's a great product for the money, and I think most people will be quite satisfied with it. However, I would like to share some of the things that I like about it and what I think they could improve. So yes, it comes with the two outlets, one three prong, one two prong. You got the 10 watt wireless charging, 320 watt output for AC, 600 watt peak. It's pure sine wave. It's got three USB ports, one PD 100 watt charging, input and output. It also has a clean 120 watt DC output, 10 amp max. It's pretty quiet for operation and it's auto off when it's not plugged in or in use. The flashlight options are great, really easy to use, especially in a dark room or if the power goes out, that is awesome. It comes with a good center of gravity, so it's not easy to tip over. I do like the rugged design. It's not as tough as the Jackery 160, but it is much stronger than the Bullbat 250 I shared with you there. And it has that 80 watt DC charging with the adapter. It's about 5.4 hours from a dead battery. And it's got dual charging for faster recharging using that PD input. So you can combine the AC to DC charger brick and plug that in as well to get um, that time down for recharge. It weighs around seven pounds, so it's easy to carry around. And it appears that it's got quite a big reserve capacity below that 0% mark, at least on the unit I got. Now, I think for 220 bucks or so, this is a great deal for the money. But let's talk about some of those cons. It need What it needs for improvement. Now, there's no AC or DC output or input on the display like you saw in the Bullbat and the Jackery. I'm not really a fan of it not having that display. I do like it. Um, the wireless charging is a little slippery, so your phone might slide around a bit if it's not on a level surface. I would like to see some grip there put on the top. Another thing I didn't really like about this unit is that uh, the fan will automatically turn on if it starts to get too warm if the unit was turned on previously. So it'll just turn it on to turn itself on inside a box. So I don't recommend leaving this unit in an unventilated area. I think that's a dangerous hazard. Uh, not a good idea. I also wish it was able to charge up something like the car battery. That would have been a big selling point for me, but that didn't end up working. There's also no case for accessories, and the unit requires a long button press to turn on the AC. I wish you could just give it a click and it would turn on, but that's also not the case. As you would see with the Jackery, you just click it and on it goes. Now, other than that, you can't use AC while it's charging on DC. So hopefully I could give you a little balance there on my thoughts of this unit. And I do appreciate you watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, please share this video, and leave a comment down below. What unit do you have? I'd be interested to know. Are you in the market for one? What are you looking for when you're going out to purchase a unit like this? Thank you for your time. Have a great day and take care.